It's your boy here, Kyle Gable. I'm about to do something that y'all never seen me do before. But I have to because of the passion that I got for this game called Yakuza 4. When you see the combat system in this game, you're going to realize that the $60 that you got in your pocket, you're going to be at GameStop like this. Alright? Now, the last time I did an interview with my dude, I was walking on my hands because the game was so crazy. So, arms out. Now, I'm telling you right now, Yakuza will give you strength that you never thought you had. Ah, you feel me? So, one love and God bless. Let's get the interview started. You ready? It's a hip hop gamer. I got my dude on my back. And we about to let y'all know where your money is going to be spent at. Yeah, son. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. First of all, let's talk about the combat system in Yakuza. What the hell? Like, you guys updated it so much, it's ridiculous. Even the weapons that you use, let it all out. Let them know what's up. All right, so first things first. Um, we got four different characters this time. So in all the previous games, you had just Cosmic Kiryu, right? You know, you had this kind of same moves over and over and over. We added new ones, but now this time, not only do you have new moves as Kiryu, you've got three totally different characters, all that fight completely uniquely compared to Kiryu. So you got Akiyama. He fights with his feet, almost entirely with his feet. So you're kicking people's faces in. You've got a cop now named Tani Mura, and you can actually like arrest people as one of your finishing moves and throw the handcuffs on him. Um, you've got Taiga, Saijima, who's a, actually an escaped convict, and this guy is huge. He's massive. Because he's so big, you can like pick up huge barrels or even like motorcycles and swing them around and just smash people with them. Um, so that's, that's a few of the basics. There's hundreds of items actually you can, can run through and pick up and use on your opponents. So phone books, golf clubs, I mean anything really that, that you can see in the game like signs or um, really any banner you can pick up and smash somebody he's facing with it so that's insane like okay first of all the fact that the combat design is like much more open and much more huge and you got different characters to choose one thing that i noticed from the gameplay is you got these like quick time events so to speak can you explain like why did you guys add that like because it looks amazing the way it brings the effect in but will there be like how, how many of those are, are those like special moves or you can you do that on the fly uh you can kind of do that on the fly so the way it works is like you build up that blue bar right and you got that blue flame around you, which lets you do a finishing move on somebody. So if you've got that and you do that finishing move like maybe five or ten times, um, you'll actually unlock a second part to it, and that's when that quick time button shows up. So if you pop the quick time button at the right time, you're going to actually extend your combo, and you might like stomp on the guy's face, and then you're actually going to grab his face and then slam your knee into it just to make sure you got him, you know, just, just in case. So, all right, now story wise, now you got three different characters you can choose. Is there three different stories that we're going to follow with these? Different three different characters, or is there one main story like it is in the other Yakuza, but these two characters just assist you? How does that work? So actually every character stands on their own, completely on their own. So when you start off as Akiyama, you see Kamurocho through his eyes. Like, you're not playing as Cosmic Kiryu anymore. Um, so you play through completely as him, and then you're going to play through completely next as Taiga, and then you're going to play through completely as Tanimura. And as you go through, it sounds at first like their stories are totally different, they're not related, but you'll start to piece together that actually there is a key issue that is actually bringing them all together. So by the end of the game, all three characters and Cosmic Kiryu will come together for the big finale. And I'm not going to spoil it, but oh, yeah, I, spoil it. I will tell you that um, having played pretty much all the Yakuza games, that it is one of the best ending few hours I have seen in a video game ever. It's very epic, so wow, look forward to it. That's a strong it's statement, man. I, I look forward to it. Now, this, is, this raises a question for me. Okay, you got three characters you can choose from. In this day and age, we've been seeing a lot of co-op in this industry. Is there a way where, like, me and you could, you know, play together through the game together? Like, that would be sick. With a game like this with the combat, that'd be sick. What's up, man? Let us know. Hmm. There's no no word on that right now. Not in Yakuza 4, at least. Um, okay. okay. To, to be honest, I'm not sure if the system could handle it. That's a lot to, to put on the screen at once, but it's probably okay. possible. Um, that's really a question, I guess, for the dev team to, okay. to answer. Like, I, no it's not something technically I could, could answer for you, but there is a little bit of multiplayer in terms of mini games, but in terms of combat, it's, it's pretty much single players. Oh, okay, no problem. No, that's fine. That's fine. I was just wondering because seeing these multiple characters, I thought it'd be cool if you could run around with your friend and do all these great moves. I think that'd be amazing. Now, I want to talk about something. This is very interesting. Now, with the mini games and everything that you guys have, right, is, I saw one mini game where you got, like, you playing the tennis and you're doing all these other things. Will any of these mini games allow you to utilize, like, the move?
move controller? Just because I'm seeing you doing all these cool things and move is such a big thing now, do you do you guys see yourselves like utilizing it as an option just for fun? Uh, not for move, but I think the big part of the big reason for that is the game came out in Japan last year. So at the time of the original development, move wasn't even as big as it is now. Oh, um, okay. I so got you. I got it was actually a huge amount of work for the guys to localize the game here. Um, I talked to the producer of the game back at Sega, and he pretty much explained to me that if you took all the words, like all the words in the, in the script for this game, and all the words in the optional mini side quests and everything, and you put them all into a book, right? That book would be about as long as Atlas Shrugged or War and Peace, and those are like, we're talking huge novels. That's how many words are in this game, so it took them a lot of time to localize. They worked really hard to get it done. Now, you have a, you have a lot of fans in this industry that always complain or they always worry about the length of time in a game. Like, by what you just said, that's a lot of dialogue. Yeah. Like, how many hours are we looking at in terms of the whole game, even the side stories, like things like that, in terms of the whole game? How many hours are we looking at estimate in, in, in terms of, in your opinion, that this game offer the fans? If you want to complete everything, and we've hidden a special boss at the end of the game, if you can complete everything, it's kind of a tradition in the series, actually. And if you get everything, I would estimate it's going to take you anywhere from around 80 to 100 hours to complete the full game. Hold the mic for a second. <laughs> You must hold this. All right. You, must, you, you, the, you gotta give it a spin. Hold up. You gotta give it a spin. All right. One, two, three. Yo, he said to 80, 100 hours for this game. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. This may be controversial, but I'm gonna keep it real with you, right? Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that, okay, say your Dreamcast collection just came out, right? Something that pisses me off is that I don't see Shinmu nowhere. And I know that Shinmu is supposed to be coming because I heard too many rumors from different people. But I want to ask you, with the combat system that this game has, with the with, with the Japanese like heart that this game has, the way it represents it, why, how come you guys don't take over the Shenmue series? Mm. Well, Shenmue is very much led by Yu Suzuki. Yes, um, I'm in the, Suzuki all, is the man. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's actually getting an award at GDC uh, really, really soon, the Pioneer Award. Yeah. Wow! Congratulations to Yu Suzuki. Yeah, seriously. So, congrats to him. Um, he's actually doing some stuff with the Shenmue series recently in Japan. Now, now, before you get hopes too crazy, I should explain. Right. Um, it's better than no news, which is what Shenmue fans have had for like years, you know, no news on Shenmue. Well, Suzuki-san is actually doing something called Shenmue Guy in Japan. It's like a cell phone, uh, like a, a mini game on the cell phone where you go through the world of Shenmue 1 and you interact with characters from the series. So what? it's not a Shenmue 3. It's certainly nothing near it. But uh, at least for fans of the series, it's nice to see that there is some activity going on in Japan yeah. right now with, with Shenmue again. So. Yo, I would love to see it. Now, I'm going to be honestly, like, honest with you, Ever since they announced the NGP, I've been very excited. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. And looking at this game and the way it looks for the PS3, yeah. it's only right that I feel they take this, make this available portable. Do, have you guys, like, do you know if the dev team actually thought about or talked about bringing Yakuza, the, the franchise, to the NGP? I think that will be incredible, especially with the power of the NGP. You don't got to lose no quality. You see what I'm saying? Is this possible? Well, anything is possible. Okay. Um, All right. What is realistic is always a different story. But, right. I mean, it, even in Japan, actually, they have uh, taken the Yakuza franchise onto the PSP uh, with, with a game that's called Kuroyo, or sort of like Black Panther uh, was the name of the game. And, and while there's no, there's no word on that game coming to the West, it's still interesting to note that the series actually has already transitioned to PSP. So in terms of is, is it ever possible, that's a, that's a maybe. That's yeah. a, a right, well, that's a, that's a nice maybe. Like that, that's a nice baby. I'm looking forward to it. Now, what I like, though, everybody that I interview, I want to ask them, you know, your experience with the game, what would you tell the fans right now that you feel would be, like, the biggest selling point that will make their eyebrows go like this? For real? Like, what, what can you tell them for your experience with the game? Because, I mean, they want to play, but they can't right now. You know what I'm saying? And you guys get that access that we all die for. So, what can you let them know right now about Yakuza 4 that's going to literally blow these socks off when they get their hands on it. I think the biggest thing, and we've kind of already hinted 
that a little bit, but the biggest thing for the fans, in my opinion, is the fact that almost all of the gameplay content is completely there this time. And for them, that's like, you look at Hostess Clubs that didn't make it into Yakuza 3, you look at Mahjong, you look at the side quests, there's a lot of stuff that didn't make it into 3, and a lot of fans were, you know, I think rightly so, a little mad about that. So, this time around, we made a huge effort to make sure that when you play this game, you've got your Hostess Clubs, you've got Mahjong, you've got your side quests, you've got all the content that Japanese players had access to in almost all cases, and the only exception is a trivia game in this case, but everything else, yeah, everything else gameplay-wise is there, and that, I think, is a pretty solid fact to be able to say that when you're playing this game, you're getting pretty much everything that Japan got, and that's a really nice statement. Oh, yo, that, now, now, that's amazing. Now, I saw something in the game. I saw somebody grab somebody and then kick them this way and this and that. Is there, like, tag team moves with these characters that you got along with you? Like, and also, do, do you guys got, like, weapon-specific, like, finishers? Absolutely. Um, and, and beyond, no, and beyond that, actually, beyond just having weapon-specific finishing moves, different characters will do different moves with the same weapon. So Kazuma will use the spear differently than Tanimura will. So you, you actually have multiple finishing moves per weapon per character, which is kind of awesome. Um, and there is tag team, too, to answer that question. There is? There is. It's sort of like there's, there's NPC characters that will come and assist you, and so it's really nice because, like, if you go around as the homeless guy who used to be homeless, his name is Akiyama, he uses his feet a lot, but that guy used to be homeless, so he made friends with a lot of the homeless people. So if you go around, it's a side quest that one of them will be like, hey man, I, I really just want some beer right now. Could you get me some beer? And if you go and get him some alcohol, and you get in a fight next to him, he'll be, he'll come to your aid. He's actually going to like, what? he'll throw something at you, like he'll throw a pillow, and you can kick the pillow, and he'll fly and hit the guy right in the face, and like take him out, just like that. And the fight's over before it began. So there's a ton of really hilarious I'm tag team drama. I know you look like, hold up, this shit is heavy. <laughs> it's all good? Yo, that is it's, Did you hear what he just said? He took a pillow and kick it and hit you in the head with a pillow. And now, let me ask you a question. How deep does that system go in terms of if you help people, they want to help you? How deep does that system go? And also, since you said that one of the characters is so big, they can pick up a motorcycle and beat you up with it, can you ride that motorcycle? Will we see some vehicles up in here? What's up? So, in terms of the tag team stuff, um, that's mostly area specific. Um, but the, the funny part is that it's different. So, like, some of the homeless guys, like, one guy's got a pillow. Another guy might have a magazine, and you'll, what he'll do is he'll crumple up the magazine, throw it to you, and you'll grab it and ram it uh, somewhere. Um, oh. right? <laughs> this, this game is definitely rated M. We're going to put that one out there, right? But these moves are kind of, they're funny and they're hilarious at the same time. But you're kind of like, oh, that was badass. That, that was awesome. So that's how the tag team system works. It's, it's all about sort of making friends with these people around different parts of the city. Yeah. I, I got two more questions for you, kid. Two more. Ready. One, will we ever see a feature where you could create your own character or create your own game? Because you know you got the triads and all this other stuff. Like, I would love to create my own game for a game like that. That would be insane. Like, will we ever see that feature hit Yakuza, the franchise? What's up? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, that's one I can't answer, honestly, because it's up to the developers in Japan. Okay. Uh, but what I can tell you is that I think feedback like that, suggestions like that are always good and always welcome. Okay. Um, from a legal perspective, I'm never able to tell you that, like, hey, we took someone's idea and put it into a game. That's just legal stuff. It's crazy. You have it. <laughs> you could take the idea. I hip hop gamer said so. All right. I don't want no money, even though it'd be nice. But you know, you can take it. <laughs> Yo, the, the last, last question is this, and I think this will actually make this game even bigger than what it is. Will we ever see the Yakuza franchise come to New York? Come to New York? You mean like, as in come, act like have the game set in New York have pretty much? Have the game set in New York. I guarantee you right now, if you guys did that, you would strike fear in Rockstar. You would strike fear in Rockstar Games because they, they hit it big when they went to, to New York. But the thing is, they had to use fake names and fake streets because of licensing. Then if you look at a game like True Crime, Streets of New York, they were able to use the real stuff. So you guys is authentic out there in Japan. Imagine having a PS3 quality title with the authentic streets and everything for New York or LA. But New York, because that's my hometown, you know what I'm saying? But I would love to see that. Is that possible? And I think it 
what should have happened. Like the story could start out where something happens and you, you got to fly to New York. And then once you're in New York, you know, you could do your thing there. I just think it would be amazing on how deep it could go. What's up? Hmm. It's kind of a cool idea. Um, and you're not the first person to actually to ask me tonight. Like, is, is there going to be a, a game in the future where they might come to the U.S.? So it sounds like it's, it's sort of in demand. Um, yeah, it is. It's, I, I view it as a mixed a mixed bag. I can see kind of opinions on both sides. Okay. Like, I think I think a lot of your ideas are pretty cool, honestly. Like, okay. I think there's definitely room for a cool story. At the same time, I also can um, sort of familiarize myself with the fans who are like, Yakuza is a very Japanese game. And so it's like, do you potentially lose some of what makes Yakuza what it is, like that Japanese vibe by bringing it to the States? So it's kind of, it's a good question. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily side either way. I kind of see both sides to it, but I think both have both have really cool, valid points. Well, 